So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say that this tutorial works with all Blender templates so you don't have to worry about it not working. The first thing that you need to do is download a free program called Blender. There is no viruses so you don't have to worry about that. The next thing that you need to do is find an intro template that you want to edit. You can find a lot of templates on the Top Free Templates website as well as the Top Free Templates YouTube channel. All the intros are free to download so choose one then open up Blender. So once you open up Blender this will be the page that you'll see and to open up your intro template all you just need to do is go to file and then open then select wherever you saved your intro so I saved it on my desktop. Blender intro and then the intros right here so select it and then click on open blender file the next thing that we need to do is edit the text and to do so all you just need to do is just right click on text layer and then click tab backspace and then type in whatever you want so I'm just going to put in top free templates and then click tab again and as you can see there are two text layers so we must do the same thing to the other text layer so we'll just right click on it click tab backspace and then type in whatever you want I did top free templates again and as you can see you may get this name thing down here again and to remove it all you just need to do is just right click on the text layer click tab and then use your arrow keys to go to the end of the text and then just backspace and then click tab again and now it's gone so from here you can change the font of the text so to do so all you just need to do is go to the F icon over here you should see the font that you have so to change it all you just need to do is just click on the folder and then go to wherever your fonts are saved they're always saved on the hard drive that has your Windows operating system so it's on my C hard drive and then Windows and then fonts then you can just choose whichever font that you want so select your font and then click open font and as you can see we have to do it to the other font too so right click on the other text layer and then do the same process go to the font folder windows and then fonts and then choose the same font that you chose before select it and then click open font and as you can see we change both fonts so if you want you can actually change the color of the font and to do so all you just need to do is just select one of the text layers by right clicking on it and then go to this little sphere icon right beside the F and then make sure that this material is selected then you go to diffuse and then just click on the color here and now you can mess around with the colors and change it to whatever color you want so let's just say I want to make it red I selected red and now you can also change the other text layer to color you just right click on it and then you just go to diffuse again click on the color and I can mess around with the color again so I'm just going to make this one like white ish so the next thing that we need to do is change our skin and to do so all you just need to do is make your way over to this little folder icon here and then select the first option here once the menu goes away just go to image and then replace image and then choose whichever skin you want to choose so my skin is on my desktop and then a skin folder select your skin and now as you can see we change the skin so now we have to render our intro and to do so make your way over to this camera icon click on it and then scroll down a little bit and you should see this MPEG format here make sure that it's on MPEG and then go to encoding make sure that the drop down menu is open and then go to the format option and make sure that it's on MPEG-4 and then if we go down a little bit more you should see this audio codec and make sure that it's on MP3 so once all the settings are correct now we can choose our output folder so to change the output all you just need to do is click on this folder icon here and then choose wherever you want to save it so I'm going to save it on my desktop and then blender renders and in this slot right here we can name it whatever we want so I'm just going to name this blender minecraft intro and then just click accept so now we have to render our intro and to do so there are two different ways the first way is by going to the animation button right here and the second way is by going to render animation and then it's going to start to render your animation jammo pack out peace